Hey, welcome back to the How to Barbecue Ride. Today I've got some of these Monster 1620 Fresh Gulf Shrimp. I'm gonna show you how I do a version of a barbecued shrimp out on my smoker. Now don't be scared about all the calories on this because we are using two sticks of butter and I've got some fresh French bread that we're gonna soap up all this great barbecue shrimp sauce with at the end. Fire up those smokers and let's get to cooking. So the first thing we're gonna do with our barbecue shrimp is get this butter sauce that we're gonna cook it in together. Um, I'm starting with those two sticks of butter I've just melted in the microwave. Pouring in a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna squeeze in just the juice of a lemon. You don't have to worry about getting the seeds or anything out. It's gonna be okay with this shrimp. I'm gonna put in just a couple pinches of fresh parsley. Give it a good stir. Now we wanna get some seasoning on the shrimp and I'm using my barbecue rub. I'm just gonna give them a good dose. Don't be stingy with it. We're gonna get them in the pan. Toss them around a little. Oh, that makes them smell good. I'm gonna give them just a little more just for good measure. You can't hurt them. Now we're gonna cover them with this butter mixture. You don't have to use all of it. You just wanna get it right to the tops of a few of them. About like that, that looks great. Now these barbecue shrimp are ready to hit the smoker. We go outside and get the old hickory fired up. Put these shrimp on. It's not gonna take them long. We're talking about 20, 30 minutes. You don't wanna walk away from these. They cook them about 250 degrees. A little bit of smoke on them to give them some good flavor on that smoker. Let's go outside. All right, so I'm out here at the Old Hickory today. I've got it running about 250 degrees, and you can cook along with this on any cooker today. Just hold it steady at that temperature. It's gonna be the perfect temp for doing this shrimp. It's only gonna take 20 or 30 minutes. You want some good smoke on it. I'm using some of this Old Hickory wood blocks. They've got seasoned out hickory wood chunks. It's perfect for cooking in this Old Hickory or any cooker. Just wanna get the pan of shrimp on, get the lid closed, let the smoke do its job. We're gonna keep an eye on them. I'll toss these shrimp around in that butter mixture in about 10 minutes just to make sure everything's coated good. All right, our shrimp have been on about 15 minutes now. And man, they are starting to look exactly how you want them. They're starting to get a little pink. Still see a little bit of that translucent color. So I'm gonna let them go. Took on a lot of that color from the rub, from the butter, from the Worcestershire. Oh man, you know that liquid's gonna be good with that bread. Let's get the lid closed. Let them cook just about another five, 10 minutes tops. Our smoked barbecue shrimp been on almost 30 minutes. I know they are sizzling good. I'm gonna go ahead just to make sure they're done. Pinch them, it's pink. Mm, perfect. Tender, good smoky flavor. I'm calling these shrimp. Let's get them inside. All right, this shrimp is ready to serve. How easy of a dish is this? All we did was take a couple pounds of fresh Gulf shrimp. These were the big ones. They were 1620s, already peeled, already deveined. Seasoned them with some barbecue rub, melted a couple sticks of butter, some Worcestershire, some lemon juice. Got it in a pan, got it out on the smoker at 250. 30 minutes is all it took, guys. It's a perfect appetizer if you're having a steak dinner or if you want something special to go on the grill. Get you a loaf of French bread, put a little butter on it. You can grill it a little bit too, or you can throw it in the oven. That's what I did today. We're just gonna top this shrimp, a little bit of extra parsley, squeeze a little bit more fresh lemon over it, maybe a little more. It's ready to go. I'm gonna dig right in, I can't wait. Wow, that's like crack, I can't stop. Hey, I'm gonna give you a piece of this bread here. Dip it to show you what it's all about in this juice. Best part is you got some of that good butter with Worcestershire and shrimp flavor. Mm. Hey, don't go check your cholesterol after this dish. Don't go to the doctor and don't judge me because it's delicious. Hey, thanks for checking this out here today at How to Barbecue Right. Hope you give this shrimp dish a try. You're gonna love it. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to our videos. We're gonna be doing them every week, so you can come back and see some more. Also find us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next week.